this particular form is a project establishment form. This form was built in InfoPath and then published to SharePoint. This form allows a user to submit a new project for approval. The form contains three built-in levels of approval, which you will be able to define. The form also has a section where the user can enter information about the project once it's completed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the features of this form. On the initial request form, the user can enter in the department, division, detailed project title, project type, estimated start date, estimated completion, estimated cost, source of funding, detailed project description, justification for the project, and then any possible resources that will be needed on the project. Once they enter the project information, they can then choose who the approving supervisor will be, and then click Submit. The form then moves to the first level of approval, which in this situation is the supervisor, and we can even see the next approver here. So when the form is opened by the supervisor, they can see a read-only view of what the requester has entered. They can enter any comments and then choose the department VP who will be responsible for approving this next. And then they can click approve or reject. The form then moves to the next level of approval. So now the department VP can see who's approved it before them and then a read-only view of everything that was entered. They can approve it. And then finally, the form moves to the third level of approval, which in this situation is VP. And then the VP can see what's been done before and then enter any comments and click approve. Now, the form has been approved, so that means that this project can start. But with this form, the requester has the option of coming back in and once the project's completed, they can enter in the actual information for the project. So they can enter in the project number, the total cost, the actual start, and the actual completion. And then they can enter in the actual resources used, any comments, and then click Submit. And now the project has been approved and completed. And if anyone was to come back and look at this form, they can see a read-only view of what the original request was, all the levels of approval, and then finally the project completion. So they can see that the project has been completed, they can compare the estimated cost to the total cost, actual completion versus estimated completion, etc. Now let's take a couple of steps back and see what happens when the form is rejected. So as we can see, the form is back at the first level of approval. Let's say the supervisor notices that the estimated start is a little too soon for other projects that they have going on. So they add in a comment, and then they click reject. The requester would then receive an email with the form comment, letting them know why it was rejected. They could open up the form. So it looks like the supervisor says the start date needs to be in October, so then they can click Originate or Modify and Resubmit, change the estimated start to October, go ahead and adjust the estimated completion, and then submit again. The form will then automatically go back through the different approval levels, so the supervisor could then approve this because they've adjusted the estimated start. It doesn't matter what level rejects the form, this would be the same process on each one. And that's the project establishment form. <laughs>